welcome back to another video. My name is Rick and my aim is to help you realise the truth that feeling great really is and can be your natural state. So in tonight's brief video, I want to take some time to talk about something which can make you feel better anywhere, anytime like that. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that is saying thank you, which by itself may sound really strange, overly simplistic or even a bit esoteric depending on your point of view. But the point is saying thank you, but more importantly, Charging yourself with a state of thankfulness or gratitude is something more powerful than you can ever possibly imagine at first. So it's very easy to fall into a state of complacency or um, lack of thankfulness for things that you already have in your life. And sometimes it takes a bit of contrast or a uh, rude awakening to remind you of exactly what you have in uh, your everyday life. And one example which comes to mind for me right now is quite recently I went to, uh, where did I go? I went to a place called the Lake District up in North England with a few friends and uh, the first few nights we stayed in a really nice four-star hotel. It was great. It had four walls and a ceiling, a pool, coffee machines and uh, <laughs> fresh bed sheets. Everything you could ask for and expect for a four, well maybe it wasn't a four-star, it might have been a three and a half star. Three and a half star, four-star, doesn't matter. The point is it was fantastic. Brilliant, brilliant trip. Hiked up some mountains including Scaffold Pike, the highest mountain peak in England. All well and good. Great. Fantastic. Final night, not so much. We went and stayed in a, a little hostel in the town of Newcastle. Now, I have to bite my tongue here when I say this, but it was a shithole. It was the sort of place you go to die. You wouldn't wish it upon your worst enemy. There's no nice way of sugarcoating it. It was called Budget Hostel. And to be fair, that's a bit of a bit of a <laughs> promotion compared to what it actually is, because it was a heap. It was... Um, Whenever I walked into the bathroom, I was greeted by a swarm of flies hovering in the middle of the room. And I thought, right, do I back away? Or do I just walk around them and brush my teeth? I ultimately walked around them and brushed my teeth. I wanted to brush my teeth more than avoiding the flies. Anyway, so needless to say, it was grim. But having said all that, it gave me a renewed sense of appreciation for the simple things that I have in everyday life. And I think the same can be said for my two friends as well. So sometimes it really just does take a bit of contrast to let you realize that having you know, four walls and a ceiling, a clean bed, running water, fresh, sorry, fresh running water and uh, a fly free bathroom. Um, it lets you really, you know, feel and see how good you do have it. Anyway, it's all very well and good having a sense of appreciation for things, but there are things or steps or techniques which you can employ to cultivate feelings of gratitude or thankfulness almost at the drop of a hat and a fantastic book written focusing solely on this topic is uh, The Magic by Rhonda Byrne, the author behind the whole Secret series including The Secret and the Magic, The Power, uh, The Hero and I think there are a few other ones as well. Anyway, a fantastic exercise which uh, I've come to implement pretty much every day for the last uh, year and a half now is gratitude steps or thankfulness steps and what's that you're probably asking? Or Maybe the clue is uh, on the name, and the name, who knows? <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. All you simply do is say thank you to yourself for every step that you take. And it can be when you're inside, outside. It can be on a set route, which you do every day. It could be, say, for instance, walking from the car to the post box or uh, any distance or stretch of pavement that you want. It doesn't matter. The more steps, the better. For instance, you could say you want to say thank you for 100 steps. And then for every step you take, you ought to say thank you 100 times. And every time you say that in your mind, you have a subconscious positive affiliation with the word thank you. And you're subconsciously, automatically generating a state of gratitude within your body, which naturally raises your vibration, taking you to a point of creativity or um, optimism, performance, good luck, whatever you want to call it. Whenever you're in a positive state, things tend to happen. Synchronicities happen. Positive occurrences are more likely to happen. A whole host of things appear. Anyway. Thankful steps, gratitude steps, whatever you want to call them. That's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do is even more simple. As soon as you wake up and as soon as you go to sleep, think about gratitude or thankfulness. Just say it to yourself, thank you for this beautiful morning whenever you wake up, the first thing you think. And then same again whenever you go to sleep at night. Thank you for the great day that you just had. And then think of something that you're grateful for at the start of the day and the end of the day and try and charge yourself with that emotion that way. It's the first thing you think, think about when you get up and the last thing you think about when you go to sleep. Therefore, you're starting the day and finishing the day on a high positive note. So 
very, very simple to do, but even more effective because at these times in the day, first thing in the morning, last thing in the night, as I've mentioned before in this channel, the brain is in its most malleable state, like Play-Doh. Apparently that simulates Play-Doh. Anyway, very, very briefly, the brain has numerous different uh, states or wavelengths, wavelength frequencies. Beta, high paced waves, they uh, are associated with uh, problem solving, stress. Um, you'll experience them in car, well, traffic jams, when you're in work, maybe you're having to think optimally, or if you're a bit frazzled, stressed out, things like that there. Below that is alpha waves, that's a state of super learning where the brain is a bit more relaxed, but it's more creative, energy flows more easily, and you tend to enter what's known as flow state. Below that is uh, theta, which is like a meditative state, light trance, and below that is delta, which is really deep sleep, deep trance. And that's where some really cool things happen, which are beyond the scope of this video. Anyway, theta state is what we're worried or not worried about, but uh, <laughs> concerned with right now. And theta state is like the window state between alpha and delta. Whenever you wake up, you're in theta state for a short time. And then whenever you fall asleep, you drift through theta state. And it's in those states where the brain is most malleable. If you focus on something you're grateful for during those windows, those brief few minutes, morning and nighttime, that's whenever you really enact a change. You rewire your brain in a way which suits you, but you need to get clear about what it is you're thinking about, what it is that you want, what you're thankful for. Do this on a regular basis. The effects basically just compound. You'll start seeing more and more things to be thankful for throughout the day. You'll start feeling more thankful, more optimistic, better. You'll be, feel, you'll be feeling healthier. Your body will align with the new thoughts and the predominant wave patterns in your head. Everything is synchronous. Anyway, so that's the second technique you can use to cultivate the gratitude. That is thinking and charging yourself with gratitude or positive thoughts first thing in the morning and last thing at night. A third and equally powerful technique is very, very, very simply writing a gratitude list every morning, first thing. Not first thing in bed, but you know, uh, whenever you get up and you're, you say you're downstairs in your kitchen, living room, whatever. And that is, now this is one I did for about a month. I did it for a full month. And at the very end, I sort of, just thought, you know what, this is this is great, but I've got enough gratitude practices to keep me going for the rest of my life. So um, I stopped doing it after a month, but that month was fantastic because it really did give me a chance to master cultivating. Well, not only master this, the art or the skill of cultivating gratitude, but it really made me think about things that I was grateful for, like everything, because if you think about it every day, you have to write, well, you don't have to, but it's an exercise in the book, The Magic by Rhonda Byrne, which I just mentioned. You write down 10 things you're thankful for at the start of the day, but not just that, you have to explain why you're thankful for each one. So it could be, I'm thankful for my car because it lets me go places. It gives me freedom, stuff like that there. Or I'm thankful for uh, the milk in my fridge because it lets me have uh, milky coffee or something like that. I actually like my coffee strong, not black, but just a little, little drop of milk. But you get the point. Say what you're thankful for and then expand on and say why you're thankful for. Now, this is a really brilliant exercise for, like I said before, discovering or rediscovering things you actually have, but maybe had forgotten or had taken for granted, <clears throat> which is very, very, very possible. It happens to a lot of us. So after the first few days, certainly the first couple of weeks, it gets hard. You really start scraping the bottom of the barrel and you can be thinking things like, I'm really thankful for the hinges on my kitchen door because they keep the door attached to the frame, separating the two rooms. You see, it can get quite weird. <laughs> well, maybe not weird, but you have to get creative. I don't, funnily enough, I did not actually mention the hinges on the kitchen door. That's a bad example of an obscure thing to be thankful for, but nevertheless, that's not the point. <laughs> it's just another very, very powerful exercise which you can do every day, do it for a month, and just watch how you change in the course of that 30 days. So, I hope, as always, I hope as always that you've gained some degree of value from this uh, video today. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, anything like that there, please, as always, post away in the comments section. And again, as always, thanks for watching, all the best, and take care.